Hi everyone, my name's James Ivey with Antelope Audio. There was a time when all great guitar amps featured one of my favourite guitar effects. No, not reverb, but vibrato. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Adaptive Vibrato Processor, which is available for the Antelope Audio Synergy Core range of audio interfaces. Let's dive in. The gentle shimmer of a great sounding vibrato is comparable to that of a great reverb, just without the space. But why make an effect just a little better? Why not take something great and make it amazing and truly one of a kind? In creating our own vibrato engine, we started to look at the tried and tested circuits, then went wild to create a virtual effects unit that is a positive toy box of vibrato goodness. On the far left, we have the power or bypass button. Then we have the rate or speed of the vibrato. And under this, the depth. Next, we find the main waveform selector with five waveforms to choose from. Sine wave, triangle or square wave, then sawtooth left and sawtooth right. We can then flick between latch or trigger modes. Think of latch as a fixed effect. If there's an input signal, the effect is being applied. In trigger mode, we can tailor the way the effect is triggered by the incoming signal. So maybe lower volume notes that fall below the threshold are not affected. This can be very cool, making the effect ebb and flow with the passage or sequence being played. Next, we find the four trigger controls. The delay is the time it takes for the effect to kick in after the threshold has been reached. The threshold is the point at which the effect will start to operate. The rise is the speed at which the effect reaches full magnitude. And the end freak or end frequency is the way the modulation tails off over time with regard to its frequency. In effect, it adds harmonics to the signal, making it sound very intense, but in a good way. Finally, we have the wet dry mix control and the master metering. Let's hear how the adaptive vibrato sounds on a track. I have a 70s style lead guitar part that I want to turn into the full Hendrix. Take a listen to the variation in tone we can get and how trigger mode can be used to sculpt the effect around the performance. It's not just on or off, it's warping and moving with the melody. <laughs> So I really hope you enjoyed that quick look at the Adaptive Vibrato Processor by Antelope Audio for the Synergy Core range of audio interfaces. For more information on the full range of interfaces and effects, check out antelopeaudio.com. But for now, my name's James Ivey and I'll see you again very soon.